Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. This is going to be a quick video, but hopefully a very helpful one for you Town Hall 12s out there, because people always hate to attack a lot of these box type bases. There's different variations, some are trickier than others, but I see them all the time, and there's one attack strategy that's pretty solid um, against any of these variations. And it's definitely a safe strategy if you need to get the two star for whatever you're in. So we're going to be going through it today, just one replay. First, going to kind of draw out what I'm talking about um, because it is going to be a Pekka Bobat attack. And the basic idea is you have to do this. You have the Infernos, the Eagle, the Town Hall, all that important stuff's in the core. That kind of is how you um, identify one of these bases. You have all that stuff pretty much in a big core compartment, Infernos, Eagle, Town Hall. Um, what you need to do is you need to get your P.E.K.K.A.s and you know bowlers, heroes, most of your stuff to go to the core to clear that out. Obviously this isn't going to work if your stuff splits and goes around either way of the base. Um, so you need to first create a funnel somehow, at least through some of the layers. I mean it's hard to get a funnel in like this layer of the base, right, like that. Um, but you can definitely funnel like this more outer layer and of course the, even the farthest out layer. Um, easier to come from the top on this one because you have this dead space which makes it difficult um, to funnel anything in. But I could actually see if you um, you know did a, a little bit more of an elaborate thing you could have uh, used balloons or something to actually clear out an entire space here and here and then be able to make that funnel go in. So I could see it from the bottom but in this case we're talking about coming from the top here on this type of base. Um, and what you would do is you'd have to take out this, which the attacker does. Balloons actually work out well. There's not much air coverage. Then you got to create a funnel here. Not too hard. There's an opening. A P.E.K.K.A. can do it. Um, then just push in with all your troops pretty much. And of course, is stuff going to split a little bit? Stuff's going to split here. Stuff's going to split here. But you know your wall wrecker is going to go in. And it's unlikely that everything splits. The queen, you know, is a little bit of a risky spot, but she's a little bit too far away to pull everything too much. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. You can't obviously funnel all the way like straight into the core. That's just too much. But you can do like a pretty good job funneling through most of it. And then if you do that, it's a good chance that you're going to at least get some stuff in the core. You don't need a whole lot to take it out because the warden's ability is going to get you so much value. You'll have a solid like, you know, three, four seconds, however long it is of your troops being able to just not take any damage and get insane value right in the core. You have your bowlers, your P.E.K.K.A.s, your heroes. Um, so yeah, and then from there it's just very easy uh, to use the bat spell and just take out the rest. Just do a bat wave, freeze the wizard towers on the back end. There's only going to be what, like two to three of them uh, around here, but you're going to get all those extra defenses taken out. And this, what this does is it's going to save you time because oftentimes you run out of time at Town Hall 12. Uh, but the bats are quickly, they move fast, and it's also going to save you from your P.E.K.K.A.s taking forever to get through walls. Because the power of the P.E.K.K.A.s is initially they get a ton of value, but as you get later on in the attack, they just take forever and they have trouble getting to defenses. So we just have a simple bat wave taking out the rest of the base. You can use freezes or ice golems. Uh, I was actually a little disappointed. A simple giant could tank that wizard tower there. No need to freeze it really, but uh, use to freeze, you know, if you have the spell space, I guess might as well. Um, and we'll see the attack now in action. A little bit disappointed that it was actually one of our bases. We ran one of these uh, kind of common type of bases. So, you know, that's the wrong war. It is what it is, um, but hate to see it uh, being an attack against us as this example. But, you know, it makes for a good video, I guess. Anyway, here we are. Um, six P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, that's pretty heavy on P.E.K.K.A.s, but using some to like funnel there so it makes sense. I love the balloons though. Great way to create the funnel because like I said, you have to at least get most of the funnel done. At least get those easier layers taken out. Um, nothing's hitting these balloons. They get some great value there. P.E.K.K.A. pretty much funnels either side and then wizards to back it up. Always put wizards behind your P.E.K.K.A. Um, definitely a good idea. Then things coming in here. The funnel, like I said, is good through the first two layers. This is the tricky layer right here where things can split. Um, there's a lava hound in the CC, but all you gotta do is you know keep things raged up. You got the uh, actually doesn't even get this wall open. Typically, you're gonna want to use your freezes uh, to maybe help your wall record get all the way in. 
but things push through here and um, what's going to happen most of the time is you're going to get at least something going in, you get good value on the Warden's ability as he did, and then this uh, area is going to clear out. The Town Hall is actually nice and uh, separate from everything with the walls, so the explosion won't actually really get much value there as it goes down. And then once that core has been cleared out, bats are free to come in, and the only thing that can really hurt these bats are the Wizard Towers, and they're going to be tanked. I also love how everything that's still in the core tanks the Teslas, even tanking this wizard tower. Um, that's where the value is. You know, the stuff tanks for the bats. So uh, everything goes down here. That wizard tower was a little bit close. It might have turned around if it had another second or two. But all good. And then the bats are just going to clear everything out. One more freeze for that last wizard tower. And that is GG. So that's how you want to take out this type of base, guys. That'd be how I recommend doing it. Um, just Find a, a side that you can come from and reliably, you know, get a funnel at least two layers into both sides. Then come, uh, you know, with the P.E.K.K.A.s, the wall wrecker, everything coming in. And you should have at least some troops go into the core. Once that's achieved, uh, maybe you have to use a jump spell even if the wall wrecker can't make it that far. But get things into the core, then just bat the back end and you're good to go. So that's how I'd recommend it against this type of common base. Thanks for watching this time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.